What's going on, people? This is another great episode of the film review. Movies, music, culture, and whatever else comes to mind. We are the husband and wife team. I'm Crazy D. I'm Tracy. And we review we review culture in movies, music, politics, yep. and uh, society. And we have one today called River Runs, Runs Red, Red uh, directed by Wes West Miller. Miller. Also written by Wes Miller, um, starring Tay Diggs, John Cusack, and George Lopez. Okay, so let's let's give the uh, plot of the story. Okay, so it is a uh, a judge. He's a black judge in a small town. I'll say. Yeah. They really don't give you the world that it's within, so you really don't get to see where they are but you suppose that it's kind of like a small country town right. with, uh, large vast areas where right. people live in houses where there's hardly anybody around for right. miles right. so it, it gives you a country feel but it really doesn't uh, introduce the world too well but he's a judge the only black judge in this town mm -hmm. and his son uh is uh coming up he's of age and he's going to the police academy and he asks now that he has graduated and uh going on to the police academy he asks his father to drive his uh bmw Beamer, right. yeah mm -hmm. ask him to drive it so they switch cars and they drive out right. and uh you come across he comes across uh, two police officers mm -hmm. and that's where the story really kicks off um let's go back so they open up they open you up in the beginning of the film and they introduce the young man as a child yes. around six years old yeah. eight eight years old i'll say yes. and he uh him and his father at are at the uh DC. Yeah, it seems like it seems like it's at the African American Museum. Damn, I believe it is. So they never really tell you where they are, but right. it must be in rural area right. of Maryland, right. where they would be readily easy to get to the yeah, the museum. To the museum, you know, they don't really tell you that, but you have to break it down for yourself and surmise it for yourself. So, um. Then you're introduced and you find out that the child is a black child, but he's a mixed heritage as his mother is Chinese. Uh, Chinese. And so then the mother comes in and you're introduced to them as a family. And then I, it love, okay, yeah, I love the introduction, um, the way it was, you know, the father son relationship. It opened up with their relationship. So I love the the intro to the film, and then like you said, and then the mother. Um, and she comes is into introduced. the museum. I don't know how she comes yeah. in. No one else is in the museum. Right. It looks it's, it's really weird because no one else is in the museum. They're able to take in the uh, the uh, attractions without anyone else there. That that was strange to me that there was not any other people around. They speak on Muhammad Ali. Uh, you know, so it just goes on. But um, then it flashes forward. It, it, it's, it's a lot of flashback sequences because first it flashes back to you find out that that situation is happening in the museum is a flashback. Right. And then it's him in the classroom studying to be a lawyer. Yeah. And he wakes up and then the person, the teacher puts him on the spot. Mm -hmm. Then you find out that that was a flashback because here it is now real time on the screen. And he's thinking back to the time and you see the drawing that his son did on the uh, refrigerator. It doesn't look a day past when he first drew it. It's not old. It's not crumbly. It's not nothing. But then you see the guy, the young man coming. He's about 18, 19. Yeah. And that's when you uh, see the father and son's uh, relationship further. So, 
for those who are just coming in, the name of the film is... The River Runs Red, starring Tay Diggs, George Lopez, and John Cusack. That's right. So, <clears throat> so then this is what happens. And then, so you're sitting there and you see his... I guess you could say that you see Tay Diggs' character's uh, dramatic need at the beginning of the film, which is his family. Yes. I was supposed, but later in dialogue, mm -hmm. it's picked up, and then you know, in dialogue later, mm -hmm. after what happens happens, mm -hmm. then it's kind of put it weaved into the dialogue, so you see what his dramatic need is. Right. So his dramatic need is to to be the breadwinner and to be the provider and protector for his family. Okay. So then the young man meets up with. Uh, two police officers. Now, this is where the talk should have been given to him right. a long time ago. Like, he assumed because, and I, I guess this is a life lesson. Yeah. Just because you're going to join the academy doesn't mean that there aren't some racist police officers right. out there that will peel your cap. Okay, so you make sure that you have your driver's license on the dashboard. Proof of that. Don't have to go into the glove department and have your hands there so that, you know, when the police stop you, that's what it is. Now, he, and I'm going to tell you this, and this is a spoiler, you know, he waves at the police officer, and the one police officer tells the other one that he just flipped me off, and that's nothing that what he did, but let's back up a little bit. Because in between, before he's driving in the uh, BMW, mm -hmm. you're introduced to the two police officers at hand. And you see one police officer, he's playing with young uh, black children. Yep, and he's out, out there in the park, he's playing yep. with them, And his partner is sitting on a picnic table right. watching him uh, do what he's doing. He's actually sitting on the picnic table with his feet on the seat right. of the picnic table watching him. When he comes over, he says, so the one partner that's playing with the kids, he says, I want to do something for these kids. He said, you have to do something better for uh, a different type of kid. He said, yeah. man, you're really a trip. So you think that one right. is a bigot right. and the other one is kind of like that police officer that you see on YouTube all the time or, or Facebook and he's dancing with the kids and right. he's playing with the kids and he's doing yeah. the nay nay and all that with the kids and when they finally when they pull over you think that the uh, police officer with the black cowboy hat on mm -hmm. is going to be the one that's going to be the uh, one that initiates all the action which he does initiate he stops him and mm -hmm. he gets out and he says uh are you and he's uh yelling commands at him mm -hmm. and then the one that's on the side you know how police they pull you over one is standing on one side to try to observe inside the car mm -hmm. while the other one is confronting you it's kind of like when you watch jurassic park and you see the raptors i forget what kind they are and the one is sitting in the trees while the other one confronts you so they can all jump out of each other. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like, it's kind of like that. And so he notices, so, so he goes back to get his wallet. His wallet should have been on here along with his proof of everything. But he goes back to get his wallet from out the bag and the guy who is supposed to be the good cop that was right. playing with the kid says, uh, says, He's got a gun, 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 gun. And then it appeared to me right. that he fired first. Yeah, I would you know, say I, so. I, I would say he fired first and then the cop that was talking to him right. fired. So they fired from two different vantage points, pretty much wiping him out yeah. and anything. Then when they go in his bag, they find out that he's, that's how you discover that he's going to, uh, he's a candidate and just got accepted into the police academy. Okay, yeah. so that is the initiating event. Then right. it kicks off from there. And then from then on, it turns into a surreal situation where nothing in it, to me, is believable from, from what happens to me. The pacing is off. The edit could have been better uh the believability about you know because we've been watching this show 
lately on um, A&E called uh, Live PD. And this is where they actually have their body cams and they've made, they found a way to make money. Now, if you took that and tried to put that on DVD, they would say that that was illegal, but they found a way to put it on TV and then run commercials and make money off of watching people get uh, harassed by police officers. You know, just my opinion on that. But however, we've been watching that and just the, the techniques and the thought process of what makes a police officer a police officer mm -hmm. Uh, the, a police officer, a police officer, and and their tactics of how they go about doing things. Nothing in the film is realistic as far as that's concerned, which gets us back to researching and delivering upon your research to make it real for the people who are watching your film. And I it, thought I, I thought it was realistic. I mean, I I, I didn't think any of okay okay. Okay, we're gonna give. I'm gonna give a spoiler. No, don't. Give they, they, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. They tip the car over with the two guys. I'm not gonna tell what happens. I'm just gonna say they tip the they tip the car over with mm -hmm. the two guys, right? Right. And, and you know they just finished doing something. They just finished uh, finishing taking out somebody, and they just flipped the car over. So the two police officers now they've been in this high speed chase. This 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 Honda Civic has hit them in the back uh, of a of a old. Uh, Celebrity, mm -hmm. one of the last celebrities, like an '85, right. you know, and, and they just finished hitting them, and they did this reverse, and then they did the movement where they do the tailgating, and they spin a car around. I was wondering when that was going to happen because I don't know how somebody could outdrive police officers when they're trained in doing this stuff. But anyway, well, they caught them off guard. No, no, they caught them off guard, but then once they're on guard, they would be able to do it. But anyway, so the car flips over, mm -hmm. and Tay Diggs and uh, George Lopez are in the car. And the two cops, and they just went through there and had a gun battle and shot back and forth. And the two cops get out the car and they get on either side of the car with their guns drawn. They're not calling any commands or anything. And uh, Tay Diggs and George Lopez drops both of the cops. Right. They, they're, they're turned over now. Right. They probably concussed, right. smashed the windshield, smashed. Uh, uh, car top and everything, and they had the wherewithal to drop the two creative cops. Creative license. Okay, right. They dropped the two cops, but if if that was realistic, the two cops would have came out blasting, blasting. Well, they were still in shock. Because 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 listen, we've seen the PD live, and we've seen when they get in the high speed chase, they are busting. Have you seen the video from Las Vegas where the police <laughs> yeah. officer he's is shooting, shooting through his windshield to get the guy? I mean, he right. was letting off 17 shots, reloaded, got out, shot the shot right. more. They got one guy killed. The one dude, he dies in the cab of the truck. Right. You know, they were two criminals, but they're shooting now, through see, the if somebody, windshield. If that was in the film, somebody will say, oh, that's not real. No, because you can but go right happens. here. You can go right here in Las Vegas and see it happen. So that it is happens. why the the... This was a surreal film where no, that what was happen. happening, what was happening was not happening because the first thing that the cops, how in the beginning of the film did, right. did the little boy, mm -hmm. did the teenager mm -hmm. go and go back into the bag say it, say and, and, say it, say and go to get his license and they automatically say, say gun, gun, gun. But the other cops all of a sudden, when mm -hmm. they're confronted, right. the first thing they're going to do is pop, 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 let off shots until the uh the threat is right. neutralized isn't that what they do and so that's why i was saying that this right here and and the the west miller is a black director and writer and you know we only want the best for our black directors and writers but the pacing we didn't get to see who edited the film but if he edited it also to be an auteur um i just have to say that it just it just did not um, measure up. The pacing was off. The reality of what would actually be happening mm -hmm. didn't happen. There's a fight scene and you're like, they just went through fighting and they're talking and they, and they have enough time to shoot the guy. And when the guy should have just, 
he's a police officer. He should just got out there blasting. He blasted the sun. He wouldn't blast the two and true. I mean, I mean, I'm just saying. So it's just something that's uh, Rowan uh, Mayor. Okay, well, Rowan Mayor, you know, Rowan Mar. R- Rowan Mar. Right. He can edit, but the pacing of it was off. The realism of it was off. The storytelling, the through line of it was off, and the acting. There, 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 were, there, there was great acting in it from the male characters. Yeah. The female characters were just not believable. If it was of the course, two, if Ch- it was Tay the two, was great. He was great. George uh, Lopez, Lopez was he had He had some great scenes where. Right. They didn't stay on him enough when he was delivering that facial expression. He had great delivery. Uh, John Cusack's character was not fleshed out enough. We don't know where he came from. We need a flashback on that to know how him and Tay Diggs were uh, even connected. Uh, Character was even connected. Um, The music in it was good. Yeah, it was. Um, But just like in some movies, sometimes you don't need a musical accompaniment to uh, accompaniment. I'm b- butchering that word. Uh, to move, you don't need music to accompany the movement of scenes to try to pass time along. I think that was used uh, wrong, so it didn't need to be there. That's usually you see skylines and you see cars going by and you see the people driving thinking, pondering, but that wasn't quite the way that that was used in that. So that was not um, not the greatest. The son was played by Joseph Belk. He did a really good job. Yeah, yeah, he, he did a really good job. He did like a good job of making you really care about this character. That was... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was set because up. Because when you it, see it, you saw like a a family member you know this young male growing up yeah, whether yeah. it's your son or, or nephew or brother or because like we said they introduced them in the beginning so you saw this young boy growing up you know into becoming a young man excited his first day of uh, police academy you know and then to see that happens you know and then well before he even went to the academy that morning you saw the in, the interaction between him and his dad the bond you know again and the, um, mother. And the mother you know so you don't want to give the, anything away the, but it just made you the, there were certain things in it the, the relationship that. between the asian mother and the mm-hmm. black father mm-hmm. they, they there was a kiss on the cheek all the time never a kiss mm-hmm. on the lips i didn't know what that was about i don't know what that was about, I don't know if the actress didn't agree. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But maybe Tate Diggs didn't agree because I wouldn't have kissed her. But anyway, look. Uh, the There are certain things in there within the dialogue. They tell you that they know that uh, the Asian woman is the one that is voicing the concern about we know that young black males are dying all the time. And if you knew that, how come you didn't train your child to have his license on the dashboard? That's all. That's all. So, I mean, it was some things in there that just didn't follow. I wish the West, the best for Wes Miller, but the film is, uh, is, 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 is not that great. Plus, everything was on the nose, meaning that there was nothing left to... Uh, left to figure out through backstory. Everything was put forward. The two police officers talking to each other about what happened. I doubt in real life that two police officers who had done what they did would even be talking that openly with each other. They'd be trying to forget. And it would be less, it would be more of a look or uh, right. uh, something to make you suppose right. that something is going on more than how they were on the nose. Everything right. was on the nose. The mm-hmm. The first time that he meets George Lopez's right. character. That was and realistic. Th- 
that was not realistic. Him coming with a hammer and smashing out the 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 window or the car. Well, because That's remember, not, he's angry still because when he sees he said, Tate Diggs, he sees him as no the system. Mm -mm. He, he asked said him, he was a judge. No, no, he didn't know who he was at first. He said, "Who are you?" Asking my wife about our son, and he smashes out the window. Right. Now, now, he glass, introduced himself now glass, to the wife as a minute. judge, remember? Yeah, yeah, but, but she didn't tell him that. Well, we didn't because, hear cause, that. Cause, no, no, because she called and told him. But, so she she didn't tell him that, and then glass would have came, would have been in his face, eye, cut him, well, he everything, but he, no, he <laughs> so. was smashed. So that, that, that okay. that's irrealistic, and then he said, well, you know, your car, it was a, mm -hmm. he was at the body shop and the right. repair shop, so. Yeah. You know, of course, he said, well, your window will be repaired. I mean, right. all re uh, unrealistic stuff. They had the videotape of, of the uh, George Lopez's character being uh, basically murdered by the two same two his police son. officers. His jo George Lopez's son. Character son, yeah. yeah. Getting getting murdered by the thing. And then you like, you got this footage, but they couldn't get a conviction? I mean, well, look at today. Of no, course no, they just, no, 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 no. This, 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 this right here was just... Blatant. Now, when they, when We've the guy in North Carolina on. was running away from the police officer, mm -hmm. he got time. This is like one of those type of mm -hmm. shots that they reenacted the show, you know. And so this was just like major, a major cover up, and then things happen, and a gun is pulled, and then you're like, wait a minute, this doesn't make no sense. So then all of a sudden, they just decide to go. Mm -hmm. The pacing was just too slow mm -hmm. because. It shouldn't have needed that much push to get this underway. That's what I'm saying. Well, uh, you know. I I enjoyed the film. Okay. So I uh, thought if you have the opportunity to go see it, check it out. Um, River runs red. Yeah, you know. And I, I thought think, of it. I think the acting is good. Mm -hmm. um, the only there was only one part that I didn't think that was realistic, and that was the, the conversation between the police officer and his wife. So, um, why didn't you think it was realistic? Because, okay, so most of the time they don't care, that, right? So, the wife really wouldn't have cared. And Get out of my care. house, you know, you killed this young black kid, please. She could care less, right? Right? <laughs> so, but I, en I enjoyed the film, and the rest of the film for, was fine. The, okay. But just wait a minute, let me finish. Okay, okay, but that part wasn't realistic because if we look at the president that we have in office today, right. And they say, uh, oh, you know, uh, so many women, you know, the white women, they voted for Trump, right? So, but then when you, when the reporters talk to these different people on the street and, and they claim they listen to, you know, uh, they do the phone surveys and, and how all of these women are against what Trump is doing, you know, uh, and they're just so darn gone against it, right? This is what they say publicly, but behind uh, the curtain, when it's time to vote, they vote a different way and they support Trump. Now, in the public and on Twitter and Facebook, they're saying one thing and oh, we're against this and that and we need to help the immigrants and we need to help the women and 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 you know that you know that's what they say up front and they did the march with the women in dc and with the the, the pussy hats and all of this stuff and you know women solidarity sticking together but again when it's time to vote these people are voting for trump so it's like a schizophrenic mentality for me that's my opinion it's schizophrenic right so like in this film the woman is so upset. Oh, you, he didn't have a gun. Oh, you know, I'm so upset. Oh, get out of my house. You killed that young black kid. Now, this is the officer's wife. For me, that part wasn't realistic. Because they could give two fucks. I mean, excuse my French, right? So, like, all of these senseless murders that have been happening for years, right? If people really cared, something would have been done about it. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's just like clearly the spouses are comfortable with it. They love their husbands. They don't care. They're bringing in the paycheck. Mm -hmm. They don't care. Mm -hmm. And then so all of these people who are, are are marching and saying that we're with the community and we don't feel this is right and like if they really cared, they would have did the same thing they did 
when when the the kids were sh were uh, well, there's been many shootings in Florida, but the incident um, where there were so many people protesting Fox, right, and uh, that shooting, and uh, so many uh, sponsors pulled because so people so many people made noise about the uh, gun violence, right? So they all came together and they said, no, this is enough. But yeah, but prior to that, there's been so many shootings in so many cities in America to black kids, right? So if everybody really cares so much, you know, why wasn't we pulling sponsors in? Why didn't the sponsors pull out then? You know, from uh, Fox News. You know, and when the Hannity's and, and the Bill O'Reilly's and the, and the what's the woman, the, the Megan Kelly's and all of them, if people really, really cared, why wasn't the sponsors pulled then? I mean, this is like stuff from like years ago, but all of a sudden now people care. Oh, now, you know, we're against what Trump is about, blah, 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 you know, Matter oh, vote for Hillary, be for Hillary, because we care. If people really care, Half of this shit wouldn't be happening because the power is in the money, right? So, I don't know. That that part of the movie wasn't realistic that the wife is just like, oh my God, he really didn't have a gun? Oh, get out of my house. <laughs> this is not how um, uh, my husband, you're not my husband. Not my I mean, they could care less. Uh, let's and then, just keep and then, it real. And then they tried to do parallelism and right. show um, Tay Diggs' wife saying the same thing. You right. said that you were going to protect Mm -hmm. us and all that you're not the husband that i married so they were supposed to do parallelism if it was parallelism between the two people then the storyline should have been about the two people mm -hmm. um this that that right there everything there is true indeed and so that's why you know we're saying this so that wes miller will tighten his writing process. Everything has to have, has, has to make sense from one beat to the next beat to the next beat. It has to make sense. It has to, the, the dramatic need to the initiating event to uh, meeting up with the people who are going to do the thing. If you're going to do the hero's journey or if you're doing it, but it took Tay Diggs too long and it was unrealistic once he got started doing what he was doing. It, it but just did it didn't take him sense. long? Like for me, Maybe. like I said, I like the film, but realistically, uh, for me, Tay Diggs' character art, right? Because in the beginning, just like the mayor and not giving the film away, see, this is a good... I mean, it's good you have to see it because we're discussing it, right? It's, I mean, it's just, just so many different areas of the film, right? And then, so... What's going on, Wes Miller? He's watching us. Okay. So, go ahead. Finish what you got to say. Yeah, so his character arcs in the film, right? Because he started off as... I mean, well, he's the judge. So the last thing he's thinking is a, a, a vigilante-type mindset. That's not the mindset he has, right? So through the process... Of trying to do everything correctly, you know, following the chain of command. And then once it didn't work, he's frustrated. And then his character arc it changed. He kind of maybe went back into the, the same mindset he the, had the prior the to becoming the, a the judge. The character arc. Right. All I'm saying is the setup was too on the nose. Everything was, some things have to be cerebral in a film. Usually a real great film something is cerebral. You see the action of the person and not so much The dialogue in the person It's very little dialogue more telling the story through Images and that's what I'm saying now as far as the story being for uh, People who this is what people wish They would do as far as that's concerned but the two protagonists mm -hmm. die you know and so it's like wh what is the end game I guess it's live by the sword die by it you know what I'm saying so, so this is what I'm saying is 
when telling the story, we need the hero to come out. It, whatever Tate digs, whatever the character is doing, is. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's hard to say because, I like I told, said before, I want Wes Miller to do well, but he tighten said, up. He the, said, "Remember that Tate Diggs' character believed in the system and had to exhaust his belief in that system." And and then it doesn't. So oh yeah, you see, see you have to see more. We can't we can't read everything because it says yeah. see more. Okay, let's okay, okay let's, no, 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 let's, let's go. Let's let's go there for a minute, Wes. Since you're watching, thank you for watching. Um, let's go let's go there for a minute. Okay, he has to exhaust his process in the system. I think the mayor's character. I think the way that that actor played the mayor. I thought. That I I caught that he immediately. He played it like sleazy, yeah. and it, uh, it was just like he knew what he was gonna do. I didn't know what his assistant was thinking. You know what I'm saying? It looked like she was going along with it, but didn't. Okay, he had to exhaust everything in a sense, but it, I believe that there was a way for him to exhaust. To exhaust it, it could have been told. In when when you set up the frames, that it could have been in the story, it could have been told, and he could have exhausted it in a different way, or, or, or quicker, or quicker, because it, it, it took long. It was a lot of dialogue. Should have been more contemplation, more scenes of pain. Oh, and the mayor. No, no, I'm talking about Tay Diggs' character. Oh, okay. And his son. Um, flashbacks to his son them coming up showing them uh, as he gradually grew up into the man that he became things like that to give the people more sorrow to to the point where he would be like man uh i've had enough and then the audience says i've had enough with you go to action go to it Right, you know and that's and, how the audience felt. I, I mean, mean, that's I mean, how I felt. I, I was happy. So, I'm like, I wish Trayvon's father had to do it. Right, and then it, it, with Trayvon's father had done it, and then in the end, what happens? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So, in the end, so that's why go, I was realistic. Uh, we, we, we right? want you, because we want, we want you to go. In the end, we want you to. We always tell you go see the films for yourself, right. and view it for yourself. But I look for my black directors to have something that when people see it, it is undeniable. It is undeniable. The story is not what we wish it would be, but what it is. And if it's going to go into a surreal situation where these people, these, these characters are going someplace else other than what is usually happening, that it's set in such a way that it's believable. The scene, the fight scenes are believable. The the car chase mm -hmm. scenes are believable. That the outcome would be believable. Yeah, that's definitely. all. Yeah, that's all. I and mean, I mean was, would you agree with that? Yeah, it was. I mean, that's it was believable. It was it was <laughs> sad. Um, okay. it was just sad. And then that would be the outcome. You get to take out your revenge, but in the end the cops would have come back and you know taken out the parents see that's what i'm saying wes so, only up from here because you want to know why you want to know why this is not a negative negative critique or trying to tear you down yeah, it's a only, good let, me, movie. let me finish let me finish i'm responding to him I, i'm not we're not trying to tear you down none of that this is to build you up because you know what you're on big screens across different segments of America so you are already there but we just want films that when the story is told it is undeniable and you're already there starting on the right track because you're on the big screens you know what I mean and so and we went to go see the film because we saw it it was in limited release and we go see limited release films and when we go see limited release films by our people we just want something that when, when we walk out the theater we say it is undeniable but then again everyone has their thoughts on things so like we always tell you go see the films 
judge it for yourself. What would you rate the film? I would definitely give the film, I would give it an eight because I love the acting. Um, the music was great. The score was great. Um, and I love how I immediately felt for the characters in the film. Like I felt, I don't know, I felt invested in the film. It wasn't like just I'm sitting in the theater watching the film. I actually felt for this family, Tay Diggs, his wife, their journey, as well as George Lopez and his family. And to lose a child and just to feel so helpless in the process, you know, you're hoping that the system is going to do something for you because in his mind, he, he's been loyal to the system all his life, right? From being a Tay Diggs, from being a police officer to becoming what the judge, well, an attorney and from there a judge. And then his son joins the police academy and then his wife is what a paramedic. So they've just been doing nothing but serving the community. And then for something like that to happen to them, it's tragic. So you see the journey within like their characters in the process and, and in turn, you're invested in it because you're like, it's just sad. And what's so sad is this is happening practically like every day. You see something on social media, someone's been murdered and killed unfairly, you know, by a cricket cop. And then so they said, oh, where are the body cameras, right? So then they institute the body cameras and then they're still ignoring uh, the body cameras. But they do have it on PD Live on a and &E, though. I mean, but, yeah, they okay, make okay, money okay, off okay, of they're it. making money off it's of it. It's entertainment. So, yeah, so, it's, so, so it turns to entertainment. So this, right. this is what I'm saying. I have to break the film down in different ways. Now, as far as the discussion and mm -hmm. getting the discussion across to the people, mm -hmm. I guess that would be good. But then looking at Tay Diggs' character, if he was a police officer, then a judge, mm -hmm. well, then he possibly many times overlooked what was happening to young black males within the system within this small country town which must be like somewhat outside of dc like in the maryland area in the uh, maryland area so he is bypassed that so right there the conversation piece that's good but i need to break the film down as far as film structure okay the the dramatic need i'll give it a 10 uh the initiating event that set off the whole storyline which is the, the the shooting a 10 going into what happens afterwards and it goes into this irrealistic surreal world of which is not really it's not really surreal in the way that films are supposed to be surreal but in this where you're going through and things don't happen the way that they should happen i have to drop it i have to drop that part down to a four so uh dramatic need 10 initiating the event 10 uh the what happens afterwards uh for acting prowess as far as Tay Diggs I had to give him a 10 give yeah. George Lopez a 10 yeah, they're teens so, so then that would the mean that the direction from right. the director mm -hmm. was was good so then I give the director there uh, I give that between an 8 and a 9 because there's certain things because I know they sat in with the editor to edit this piece okay so that's 8 and 9 so Overall, so I have to break the film that way to be fair. And so I, I, I expected more because, you know, these are some heavy actors that were in this piece. The, the female actors did not stand up to the male actors in this piece. It's as if they were detached a little bit. Maybe to me, just my opinion, looking at it, maybe they didn't take it as serious as the male actors did. I don't know what it was. I have to give them, I have to drop them down to about a six. The extras that came into the piece, like the police officer standing at the door, they did not look realistic. The two females that came to the, the police officer's door and all that, they didn't look realistic. So that that, that right there is a four. So and, and all in all, but we want you to see the film because it is it's by- It's a good film. It is by a black director and it right. will get you talking the conversation of what ifs but what is the ultimate goal 
of the film is what we, I, what I, I'll say, what mm -hmm. I really want to know. What what's the purpose? What what do what does the director want people to get from out the film? What do what does he want the film to push people to do? Because good artwork, good film pushes people's mentality and moves them. Good music, good entertainment, good film move the society along and that's what we're about. Uh, thanks for checking out the piece. Love the crit criticism. All fair. Thank you, sir. You know what I'm saying? We look forward to uh, meeting with you and look forward to seeing your next film because like I said, you're on the big screen. And so that, that's, that's, that's more than most uh, we'll see who are out there in the rap race. So, and the race. too, you know it's a good film when it's being discussed while it's on the screen. So we're watching the film and discussing different, you know, look at that. Okay, that's good. And then you're, you're hearing the, the um, audience members like laughing in the right parts and the shocking parts. They're like, <sighs> so the audience participation in the film was on point. And we're sitting there watching it. And I, I will have to tell you this, the truth, Wes, though. Mm -hmm. on, on some of the scenes when, uh, especially the fight scene between the police officer and uh, and uh, the characters, of Tay Diggs' character, and that people were in there just chuckling a little bit because it seemed unrealistic. So I just got to tell well, you Did that. they just so laugh they, because they no, no. thought it was funny seeing George Lopez? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 because, no, because George Lopez, because uh, comedians right. are some of the best dramatic actors because most of their comedy comes from the pain, pain that they right. have suffered. So when they get a chance to play a straight character, mm -hmm. they're some of the most dramatic actors. So that wasn't it. It was just certain things about the fight scenes mm -hmm. that weren't uh, realistic. You know, it's, 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 so people were chuckling in the car, the chase scene, mm -hmm. people chuckled a little bit and was like, oh man, really? And, and so this is what I heard because we were sitting there. We sit so we can see the front and the back as so we can give quality reviews so we can see what's happening in front of us, see what's happening, and listen to what's happening behind us while looking at the screen. So that's how we do it, you know. As the audience a, is engaged. Yeah, the audience was engaged, but right. it was certain things they were like, mm, that's not, they, by their reaction, it was certain things that they seemed like it wasn't realistic to them. Just watching other films from out this type of uh, crime drama uh, it, it was listed as a thriller mm, but I, I would say crime drama um, so that's it so and that uh, thank you again yeah, Wes and you. for everybody who is watching um, it sounds like a filmmaker oh, oh thank you sir uh, <laughs> thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing um what else you do in the future yep. and uh thank you for having a positive thought process right. on the review I, I i don't call it critiques because critics never live it they just they just talk about it but here we break down we break not only down film structure but film grammar and how stories are traditionally told yep. so this is has been another great yep. episode of the film review movies music culture and whatever else comes to mind uh i am we are the husband and wife team i'm crazy d i'm tracy and we review culture in movies music society and politics and we'll see you next time on the film review